the Tripura Chief Minister has won from his seat uh, town Bordowali in Tripura. Uh, he was the BJP's candidate and Manik Saha has won the by poll from his seat town Bordowali. He has won by a margin of 6,104 votes. Now remember Chief Minister Manik Saha was required to get elected to keep his post. He was required to win these elections to keep his post and now he has finally won. His future was at stake with this bipolar result and he has now secured his post of chief minister. At the second place uh, in the bipolar results it was Ashish Kumar Saha of the Congress uh, but um, Manik Saha has defeated Ashish Kumar uh, by over 6,100 votes. He has secured his chief minister's post after these votes. It was a prestige battle uh, and uh, uh, Manik Saha's future was at stake as the chief minister and he has finally secured this position. Uh, my colleague Ratnadeep joins us for more on this, who has been tracking these uh, elections very closely. Ratnadeep, uh, BJP's Manik Saha has secured his uh, chief minister's post with this victory. That's right. In fact, information coming in just moment before we went on air is that in the uh, bipoles which have taken place in Tripura in four constituency, in the town Bordwali constituency, Chief Minister Dr. Manik Saha has won the seat. Uh, the official declaration from the uh, election commission will come in uh, shortly. He has defeated his uh, nearest rival, uh, Congress's Ashish Kumar Saha, who was uh, earlier the BJP MLA from the same seat. However, this is going to be a big relief not only for Dr. Saha, uh, who has contested for the first time in any election and won, but also for the BJP because do, remember Dr. Shah uh, is not your regular uh, politician. Uh, he was a doctor turned politician who was made a member of Raj Sabha. He is also the state BJP chief in uh, Tripura and only two months back in a surprise move, BJP actually dropped Vipap uh, uh, Kumar Dev as the chief minister and made him the chief minister. So it was an acid test for Dr. Saha and the party. Uh, what we are hearing is that uh, uh, the BJP is also leading uh, in Jugraj Nagar seat uh, and there is a uh, and also the uh, Surma seat. So two other seats where BJP is leading. But a setback for the BJP in uh, the prestigious Agartala constituency where Congress heavyweight and former BJP minister Sudip Roy Burman has won the seat uh, once again. He he has never. Uh, lost this seat since 1998 but uh, this time this was a very close fight uh, with BJP's uh, candidate Dr. Ashok Sinha. In fact uh, in the run-up to the elections there was an attack uh, on Mr. Burman uh, which the Congress had claimed that it, it was uh, BJP, there was a BJP hand behind it, BJP had denied. Now the Tripura elections are seen as the semi-finals through the 20, uh, 23 state polls. These bi-polls are uh, kind of a semi-finals and uh, if, B if this trend continues, BJP would be happy because if they are able to win three seats out of the four which have gone to polls, it is going to be a, a good performance for, uh, the, uh, for the party in a, st a state where it is seen to be in a sticky wicket given the fact there is a multi-corner political fight. This time the Congress, the left and the Trinamool Congress was also in the fray. Also, uh, some uh, you know the Trinamool Congress candidates really didn't do well in any of the seats as of now. So this will be a kind of a this result will be perhaps a, a fodder for Mamta Banerjee and Abhishek Banerjee, who was in charge of the elections in Tripura, to uh, you know see about the prospect of the party because they are eyeing not only Tripura but states like uh, Assam and Meghalaya in the northeast big time uh, right. for the next year's elections in uh, in uh, Meghalaya. So. Uh, you know, but the big story coming in from Tripura is that the Chief Minister Dr. Manik Saha has won his seat and so has the Congress heavyweight Sudhi Rai Burman.